you that version. Yes. 
herself in music ministry. She was first licensed as an evangelist in 1971. And 16 years later, in 1987, she began the Faith Temple as its elder and senior pastor. She was elevated to the lower house of bishops in 2004 as an overseer. She is a woman that is anointed and capable in the She is well qualified for this honor. Today's consecration will make her the seventh Episcopal from the Germans' blood. Church of the Living God, Bronx, the state of New York, United States of America. The consent of the Ecumenical College of Bishops. We, the members of the Ecumenical College of Bishops, did elect and consented unanimously to the consecration of Michelle White Haynes to be made a bishop in our Lord's Church. This service of consecration was convened on Saturday the 11th day of the 10th month, known to us as October in the year of our Lord, 2014, at 10 o'clock in the anti-meridian. The college gave unanimous consent on the above-mentioned date at Mount Hebron Baptist Church during the induction to the Episcopacy with the affixing of our signatures to the official documents. Witness our hand with the seal of the church this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Church of the Living God, Bronx, State of New York, United States of America. Certificate of Episcopal Consecration. Be it known to all men and women by these presents, by the grace of Almighty God, and with an eye single to His glory, I, the Most Reverend Robert Eugene Gertman, a bishop in the Church of Jesus Christ, presiding bishop of the Church of the Living God, and senior pastor of the Gertman Memorial Church of the Living God, along with the Most Reverend Eric Figueroa and the Right Reverend Marva Alberta Baldwin did consecrate Michelle White Haynes to the Episcopal Office of Bishop in the Lord's Church by proclaiming her to the church and to the world as a suitable minister for that holy calling and having been certified as one possessing holy orders, she was elected to the Ecumenical College of Bishops and by the imposition of my hands, assisted by the Ecumenical College of Bishops of the Church in a public service of consecration, we did consecrate.
consecrate her to that office by prayer and the anointing with the horn of the 11th day of October in the year of our Lord 2014 at the Cathedral Greater Faith Temple in the Bronx, New York. We commend this servant to all churches of Christ everywhere, ever praying that God's blessings upon her labor. May the Lord who has given you the will to do these things give you the grace and power to perform. Now witness by our hand with the seal of the church and the hand of co-consecrators about this day in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I, Michelle White Haynes, chosen bishop of the Church of God, do solemnly declare that I do believe the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be the Word of God and to contain all things necessary to salvation. And I do solemnly promise to conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Lord Jesus Christ as taught by the Christian Church. Amen. To share 
But it is God in the counsel of his own will, besides in and of his own self, who he will choose and who he will select. And we can choose our occupations, we can choose uh, the university you want to go to, you can choose your friends, but you cannot choose your family. Your family is a design by God. And when one is born into a Levitical family, there are certain things that you are born into that you cannot escape. And so this prophet, this teacher, this evangelist, this author, uh, this singer, this psalmist, uh, woman of God, was born into a Levitical family. So it's in her DNA that she is a gospel preacher. And we are fortunate and blessed in this box. I repeat myself, we are fortunate and blessed in this box. And we are people that people have written off and for a capital dollar don't make the twenty thousand dollars a year and say we are less than. God allowed her to stand up in the South Bronx and be a voice for us. And so we are so proud of her. We salute her today. We thank God for her. And so today she joined, uh, she's preached at our home church. Her mother has preached at our church. Amen. Her brother has preached at our church. Amen. Down through the years. And so you join uh, the Maddie Pools. You join uh, all of those famous women like Mother Horn. You, you join Ardell Tucker and all of those great women of God who stood during that first period and said, we can't wait to exhale. We got to do this right now. And so we thank God that you're entering into this moment in time. We pray God's grace on you because, well, you already have his grace. We pray more favor on you that God will continue to bless, strengthen, and hold. And the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you this day. And I'm so glad for these great brethren, for your brother, and all of these great men and women of God who are here. We finally caught up to what God had already settled in heaven. We finally got it straight on the earth. So thanks be to God. God ever bless you, and we are always with you. Amen.
me an overseer. Yes. To me. who have looked to God in hope. Your joy will be to follow him who came, not to serve, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Bishop Michelle White Haynes, are you persuaded that you are truly called to this ministration and that the Holy Scriptures contain all doctrine required as necessary for eternal salvation through faith in Jesus Christ? I am so persuaded and determined by God's grace. Bishop-elect Michelle White Haynes, will you then faithfully exercise yourself in this Holy Scriptures and call upon God by prayer for the true understanding of the same, so that you may be able by them to teach and exhort with wholesome doctrine and with understanding and convince the gainsayers. I will so do by the help of God. Are you ready and with all faithful diligence to banish from the church all erroneous and strange doctrines contrary to God's word and both privately and openly call upon and encourage others to the same? I am ready, the Lord being my helper. Will you deny all ungodliness and worldly lust and live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, that you show yourself in all things an example of good works unto others, that the adversary may be ashamed, having nothing to say against you. I will so do, the Lord being my helper. Will you be faithful in ordaining, sending, or laying hands upon others? I will so be by the help of God. Will you show yourself gentle and be merciful for Christ's sake to the poor and needy and to all strange destitute of hell? All strangers destitute of hell. I will so show myself by God's help. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who has given you a good will to do all these things, grant also unto you strength and power to perform the same, that he, accomplishing in you the good work which he hath begun, you may be found perfect and irreprehensible at the latter day, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The scriptures tell us that our Savior Jesus Christ spent the whole night in prayer before he chose and set forth his 12 apostles. Likewise, the apostles prayed before they appointed Matthias to be one of their number. Let us therefore follow their examples and offer our prayers to Almighty God before we consecrate her for the work to which we trust the Holy Ghost has called her. Sister, my sister, yes, through these promises, you have committed yourself to God and to serve his church in the office of bishop. We, therefore, call upon you, chosen to be a guardian of the church's faith to lead us in confessing that faith. We believe 
in one God. Stand. May we all stand. We believe in one God. in behalf of the 
next 10 blocks in every direction. And I shall lower the crime rate, said the Lord. And I will give you favor with city officials, governmental officials. And there will be days that you shall wear your civic attire and go in even like an Esther of old. And I am going to cause a unity in this community, say the Lord. For I am not through with what I'm about to do in this building. For this place shall become a center of hope. Not only for the elderly, but also for the young, say the Lord. Now the recordings that shall go out of this house shall go nationwide. Now the song of the Lord shall begin to reach from coast to coast and around the world. And the Lord said you have to trump it and become a new voice. Now, Deborah, you shall raise up as a mother inside and impart unto others that had no strength. And there shall be a company of women bishops that shall follow thee. And there shall be a new unity in this faith, saith the Lord. And the Lord would place his hands upon thee and strengthen thee in their years to your life. For the work that I have given you to do is passing from one generation to another. For you are going to take the faith of the mothers of old and you are going to gather and you are going to bring change and birth great men and women out of this house, saith the Lord. And there will come apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers. But I'm pulling the veil back concerning me, say the Lord, and causing visibility for where you've been despised, you are getting ready to be accepted. And I am going to take your name coast to coast. And even in California, say the Lord, I open up a brand new door. For the Lord said that you're going to be like the John of Baptist. To this man of God. You are the forerunner. You are the one that will go before him. You will have the strength and be the trumpet. You will be the gatherer and bring people of all different faith. But the Lord will say that you shall begin to bring together ecumenical counsel. And the Lord is going to cause his grace to rise upon the earth. So the days of thy humble beginning and thy small beginnings. It is about to close, and now greatness is about to be seen yeah. in ways like you have never known. Yeah. And I cause this place to become a cathedral, a seat Jesus. in this community. Yes. And you shall be a voice that shall orchestrate and administrate. And you will pull together bishops that and arguing, yeah, you'll be the peacemaker, saith yeah. the Lord. Yeah. And you're going to stand in the gap yeah. because of the prayers that I usher out of this place. Yeah. And this building shall be complete. And then another one I shall give unto thee. And a center for the elderly, you shall give, saith the Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' name, I believe it, that that is, in fact, the word of the Lord. Is there any other bishops that want to have a word of this time? Any other bishops in this circle? God bless you. Bishop, Michelle, I've heard so much of the induction of service 40 years in ministry. But I thank God for you on behalf of Cathedral United Baptist Church. Cathedral stand. Cathedral. Stand.
gracefully said, yes, come. I will never forget that as long as I live. Mm. I congratulate you. I honor you. Yeah. I thank God for our friendship. 40 years in ministry. Four months in friendship. I love you. Cathedral loves you. And we're so proud of you together. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this great celebration. Pastor Franklin, Newman, Bishop Presiding Bishop, Bishop Irvin, I mean Bishop Ball, Ball. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this. Bishop Eric, I'm picking on all the bishops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. God bless you. Can I take you?
feed the flock of Christ. Commit to your charge, God, and defend them in his truth. And be faith, be a faithful servant and steward of the Holy Spirit. There's a heaven in the book that says, must Jesus bear the cross alone? And all the world will free you. There's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for me. You see, this cross has a sign of our Lord's triumph and the banner of our salvation. Be one with the apostles and proclaim Christ's resurrection and his sovereignty has Lord and has saved.